Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So today I have a kind of a massive, it's 15 candles, 15 unique fragrances rather, um, from Homeworks to share with you. Now Homeworks sent me five of these fragrances. Um, of those five, I actually already owned one, bought another one, and bought two more. Um, so... I'll tell you which ones they sent, um, and the other ones I purchased. It's a culmination of, like, four orders. So, I ordered, um, last, <clears throat> two weeks ago, when they were three for 63, I think it was. <clears throat> Let me take some water. And then I placed a few orders when they were two for 44, um, as of this morning, I think they're 20% off everything on, on the homeworks.shop. Homeworks.shop. Um, you can use my code Philly Candleman, save an extra 10% off your purchase of $60 or more. I'll put that in the description below. There's also a link down there. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So I have some new, new stuff. Um, <clears throat> some stuff that's currently sold out on homeworks.shop. But I have a feeling it's coming to QVC. Um, so I'm not going to show them one by one and then talk about them. I'm just going to talk about them because I have 15 candles here and it's going to be a long video. So buckle up, uh, get in a hot cup of coffee, tea, water, soda, adult beverage. I'm recording this in the morning, so I'm not having an adult beverage, but if you're watching this later in the evening, go for it. So, um, let's start with, uh, Midnight Moon. So I picked up Midnight Moon and if you guys recall, I actually ordered Midnight Moon back in September or October from QVC. I got it home. I think I talked about it. I don't know if I talked about it on my YouTube channel, but I definitely talked about it on Instagram. I wasn't overly impressed with it that I wanted two of them. So I actually ended up sending those back. Um, because I, I thought it was going to be a little spookier. And... It's a nice Halloween fragrance. Fall, it's more of a fall fragrance than Halloween, but there's that ginger crystal in here that's kind of like magic potion. Um, but it wasn't enough for me to want two of them, but when it was on sale on Homeworks, I was like, okay, I'll... There's a couple of here. I just threw them in the cart, right? Because I have never tried them before. Um, and I was like, I'll just create the archive, right? So, um, this one reads, Autumn Leaves, Fresh Pumpkin, Dark Woods, and Ginger Crystals. Um, yeah, it, the Ginger Crystals come out because it's such an intense scent. Um, but you do kind of get the crunchy leaves note, uh, sort of from Autumn, or Harvest Leaves. But, I would say this is more of, more of a fall fragrance. I would certainly wait to burn this until it gets cooler out. I wouldn't burn this in the summer. Um, this would definitely be a September, October fragrance. So that's Midnight Moon. It does have the black, black, ooh, black lid on it there. Love the label, by the way. I love the label. All right. So let's go with um, Lily of the Valley. So this one, Homeworks did send me here. Um, I have four of these from last year. So I'm very familiar with the performance of it. So. This is an amazing, pure floral fragrance. You get the lily of the valley in here. You get a little bit of the highest note. Um, if this is anything like last year's candle, um, it's at least... I don't give 10 out of 10s on a scent throw and performance. Um, this is like a 9 out of 10. This is one of, if not the strongest candle I've ever burned. It's not for the faint of heart if you... Um, don't like florals, this is not for you, um, because it is so strong and intense, so strong and intense. Um, Lily of the Valley, Hyacinth, Jasmine, and Spring Green Leaves, and, man, when this first came out last year, like I said, I stocked up, I got three of them, that's stocking up to me, you know, um, because I just have so many candles, but, um, yeah, this one, uh, does have the new Slatkin & Co. label on it there, and this is still available on homeworks. Homeworks. Shop. Why can't I say that? Jeez, almighty. So, if you want a pure Lily of the Valley white floral fragrance, get that one. All right. Next up here we have 
I had never tried this before. Threw it in the cart this past weekend. Country apple butter. Gold lid. It's nice. It's nice. I don't know why I was so hesitant. Well, because of the foodie scent, right? Um, caramel apple, sweet vanilla, and toasted nut. Um, yeah, this is a really nice um, fall, kind of, you know, like a fall carnival scent. Or if you go into the orchard and they're, they're hand dipping some caramel apples there. I uh, I like it. It's not too sweet. That's the thing, right? I don't like overly sweetness of uh, caramel and whatnot. But um, definitely a gourmandy scent. You, you get the caramel apple in here. That's what I pick up the most is the caramel apple. Nice label there. Um, I don't, don't, maybe a little bit of the nuttiness, but if it burns well, um, I might pick another one up. Uh, and this is the only one that's still $25 on the website, by the way. So all the other ones are now priced at $30. This one somehow got grandfathered into 25. I'm not sure. Um, even though some of these fragrances that are on the website were $25 in the fall, this is the only one that stayed 25. So um, I don't know. Don't know how that works, but I'm gonna drop them here. Stack them. Okay. All right. Next we have a new 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 Island Citrus Guava. Uh, the reason why I got this was, one, to review, and two, because it had uh, the word citrus in the front. And I figured, citrus, right? But the guava kind of scared me a little bit. And it's not bad. It's a very uh, juicy, it's not overly guava, right? It's not like guava sunset. Guava sunset was heavy on the guava. This has the citrus, um, the clementine. Uh, built in, you know, mixed in very well. And I, I think I heard Harry describe this as kind of like a beverage when he was on QVC. Uh, this is on QVC as well as Homework's website. <sighs> Juicy Clementine, Guava Nectar, Pink Grapefruit, and Fresh Pineapple. I don't pick up the pineapple in here at all. I pick up the, the Guava Nectar and the Clementine here. Um, yeah tad bit of the grapefruit but overall it, this will probably be a one and done for me based on my scent preference um but if you like those fruity fragrances you will probably really enjoy this but for me this is probably a one and done deal and it's got a nice pink wax in there um i'm gonna show you the caramel apple butter or not caramel country apple butter is that apple butter scent and lily of the valley is white all right, next here we have is Banana Berry Smoothie. This is one that Homework sent me. Hey, this is like a nice, also pink wax in here. Um, I was kind of expecting a little bit more strawberry. This one goes a little bit more of that banana cream. So it's definitely a creamier scent. Um, when I get like banana, banana strawberry smoothies, um, somehow I always smell like the seeds of the strawberry that's kind of what I was expecting from this but it it's on the creamier side so it's like banana strawberry and this raspberry in here a little bit of, it's, it's a creamier smoothie um than what I'm used to getting so like if you if I had to say like the color of this is kind of like a uh, like a uh, if you were to picture a smoothie, and this is how I would picture it: picture a smoothie, but it's on the um, pale yellow side. That's what this would be. Whereas like the smoothies I'm used to getting are more on the pinker side because of the strawberry. Uh, that's just my personal thing there. But it's it's nice. It's it's fairly uh, on cold. It's it's not too intense. It's not light. It's kind of like in the middle somewhere on cold. But I'm definitely picking up the banana cream a lot. Um, so banana cream, raspberry swirl, fresh strawberry, and vanilla sugar. And I should mention that the wicks on all these new 2022 candles... Uh, do seem to be a lot different than some of the other ones we saw 
in the fall and late um, around holiday time. Um, and I actually have been burning a Sunday morning cereal the past two days here, and it's been performing great. So, um, so we'll get the Sunday morning cereal. Yeah, so if you like the banana, you'll probably like this. That's just what I get out of it. All right, next up here is we have <laughs> Clover Blossom. I ordered two of these. Um, one, because it was a new floral fragrance, and two, when I ordered it at the homework site, they were offering two, if you bought two floral fragrances, you got a free body spray. And I was like, I I like free stuff. So I was like, I'll just add another one of these. Um, <clears throat> even though I ordered like Sea Breeze kind of as a floral, but it was glitching, it was weird. So I ordered two of these. Uh, I, got, I got both of them there. Um, you know, off purple. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting at all. Um, hear me out here. I get kind of like an herbal essence shampoo or a perk plus shampoo, like a, like one of those kind of shampoos. Um, I, I don't know. It's just like, I've, I've smelled this in shampoo form before. To me, it smells like a, it smells like a fresh shampoo. Um, clover blossom, spring gold peach, peony petals, and white violet. I, I don't know. I guess I had higher hopes. I thought this was going to be like a, a greener scent just because of the word clover in there. Um, I've never smelled a clover blossom. I, like, I've never smelled that. Um, I guess it was a, a clover blossom. But I get shampoo. I mean, maybe it'll change when I burn it, but on, on cold sniff here, um, I do get, and this was like one of the first ones to sell out. I don't know. A lot of this stuff sold out. I don't know if Harry's not producing a lot. Um, he just can't make enough because of, you know, what's going on in the world with the inventory and stuff. But like this stuff went online Thursday night and some of the stuff was sold out by Friday afternoon, early Saturday. It was crazy. Ah. Uh, yeah, so this would be interesting. I get I get shampoo, herbal essence shampoo. Um, okay, next up here is we have jasmine and white peach. Uh, homework sent this one to me. I've had this before. Um, really beautiful on cold, beautiful mix of the jasmine and the fresh peach. However, when it burns, um, the peach kind of takes over. So it's more of a... It's a fruity floral, right? Um, on cold, it's nice and balanced, but on burn, that peach takes over there. So it's white jasmine, white peach, bamboo, and apricot. And it is a new... Well, actually, this one does say Homeworks by Harry Slatkin on. It doesn't say the uh, Homeworks by Slatkin & Co. On the bottom, it says Slatkin & Co., but not on the front. I mean, I'll burn it again. Um... It's a fresh, early spring, early, like, spring, summer fragrance here. That's what I get out of this. But uh, the, the peach does kind of take over. All right, next we have here is, I've been wanting to try this for a while, um, just because it has the espresso note in it. And people are saying there's no espresso note. Uh, I don't know. Chocolate birthday cake. Okay. Um, this is one of those that has, like, those long skinny wicks on it. Skinny wicks, yeah. I pick up a little bit of an espresso note in here. I, I do. Um, I pick up... <clears throat> it's a nice blend of different chocolates, for sure. It's dark and milk chocolate, espresso powder, vanilla, warm vanilla, and whipped cream. I do pick up the whipped cream note in here. I think it's a very pleasant chocolate cake scent. It's not in t like Yankee Candles um, chocolate cake or whatever that one is. That is so intense, so um nauseating at times this one i don't think it's going to be that way i actually really like it um it's not an everyday burn for me it's going to be a random random burn here but uh, i do pick up some espresso powder in here and then the dark and milk chocolate i do like personally i like dark chocolate better um it's not as uh, milk chocolate can be kind of fake smelling uh, like overly sweet, right? Like 
hot cocoa and cream from Bath and Body Works. This is nothing at all like that. Yeah, uh, see how this burns. See how this burns. All right, next we have here is <laughs> peanut butter waffle cone. Again, not really a scent for me. I rather find that label kind of disgusting, personally. Um, it's like a waffle with the oozing peanut butter with the nuts, the peanuts. All right. If this one doesn't throw, I don't know what will. This is so strong on cold. It's like a nine on cold. It's like as intense as Lily of the Valley on cold. Okay, so this is like um, baking peanut butter cookies. I know some folks have said that. I agree with what they're saying there. That it's like a peanut butter cookie fragrance, a warm, fresh baked peanut butter cookie, um, a soft peanut butter cookie. At first, when I was smelling this yesterday, when I came in two days ago, um, there was a note that was turning me off. And I don't know that that's because it was cold. And it didn't really get time to get the room temperature in the house. But now that um, it might be, it's a, it's, it says in here, brown sugar, waffle cone, cracked peanuts, caramel drizzle, and maple sugar. It might be that maple sugar. Because it's like a sweet and salty note going on here with the peanut butter. It's not like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's not like a peanut butter right? It's a sweeter version of peanut butter. And it's got that peanut butter yellow color wax. It's going to be strong, I have a feeling. It's going to be intense. Uh, it should be, based on how strong it is on cold. Uh, to me, this is probably one to do with the windows open, right? probably want to do with the windows open for me just that's for me all right next we have here is kiwi margarita i think i hauled this before but they sent me another one of these so the homework says sent me this one i had one burning i bought another one so i have three of these total why didn't anybody tell me how good this was well, everyone told me it was going to be like this margarita drink it's not now this one does have those long wicks on it there but my gosh, this is like a lemon lime soda. I love it. I love it. It's effervescent. I burned one the other day and it was uh, filling like the whole floor of the house. It was just so pleasant. Um, I love it. If you like lemon lime, there's no alcohol note in this at all. It's refreshing. It's a great summer fragrance. Um, love this. Just I love it all the way. Uh, kiwi, chilled melon, Caribbean lemon, crushed mint, and sparkling sugar water. Sugar water. Uh, I like this better than citrus mojito from last year. Uh, I just really, really, really like this fragrance. So, uh, really enjoy this fragrance. So, lemon lime, soda, effervescence going on here. Now we've got... Uh, Sunday morning cereal, so homeworks did send me one of these, but I ordered two. Like I said, I have one burning right there. Guys, this is a really good cereal candle. Um, I think the homeworks did a really good job of this. So we have home, we have Goose Creek, we have Kringle doing Bath and Body Works, doing cereal candles, right? So kind of have your pick of the litter <laughs> almost at the, at the time. Um, this one's kind of like Fruity Loops meets, uh, Fruity Pebbles in a way. Um, the label, I know I said this to somebody, I feel like, um, I'm in like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, right? You know, the cereal scene and there's like the giant Fruit Loops on there. Um, it's really nice. It's got this pink wax. It's really beautiful when burning. But yeah, if... <sighs> You don't really get much of the milk, per se. But you get the feeling of the of it mixing with the milk, right? So, like, when you take Fruit Loops and you mix it with the milk, it turns into a different scent altogether. I could taste this candle. This is really good. Performance-wise, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's a good performer. Um, 
because I want to do a full review on it once I get a few burns in. This is unfortunately sold out on homeworks.shop right now, but this is the one I have a feeling someone posted in the homeworks fan group that one of their orders of like peanut butter waffle cone, their order page had a picture of two cent two candles of Sunday morning cereal. So I think it's probably going to end up on QVC at some point in the near future. Um, so keep checking, obviously check the homeworks uh, fan page and everything like that. And right, we have four more to go here. So let's see. Yeah, okay, so homework sent me five candles total. They sent me Kiwi Margarita, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine White Peach, Smoothie, and Sunday Morning Cereal. Okay, so those are the five candles they sent me. Just wanted to be open and honest about you, open and honest about it, right? Um, but what they sent. So uh, here is Coastal Water Lily. Again, I got this last year. I got two last year when it was at Ulta. It's also at Ulta now. I think it's like 15 bucks at Ulta, by the way. Um, so, Water Lily, Pink Jasmine, White Peony, Peach Blossom. This is a perfect aquatic floral. Not, Don't let that peach note scare you off, even though it's in there. It's in there lightly, but it just makes it a nice aquatic floral. Um, it was strong last year. It was definitely strong. I love the label because I have a koi pond. Love the label of the water lily going all the way around. So, yeah, marine, ozonic, um, watery floral there. All right, next up here, this is one that came out, remember the HSN days of Homeworks? Um, I think this one came out there. Apricot Cobbler. This one kind of showed up out of nowhere on Homeworks' website. Now, the label is, you can see it's, pushed up all the way around so um and it wraps over a little bit in some sections but shouldn't be too bad when burning this is really authentic apricot cobbler my grandmother used to make this when i was a kid she would make apricot cobbler peach cobbler all those things um, you do get the apricot here. You get the crust. There's actually the crust, the brown sugar note and the brown sugar crust in here. This is one that brings back memories. Um, again, I threw it in my cart this weekend to get it this past weekend. Love, love, love. Love it. Again, um, probably just one, even though I love it, probably just one for me right so i'm not going to burn it that often um but it is authentic to that so it's juicy apricot pie crust brown sugar and vanilla cream uh nailed it harry nailed it on this one <clears throat> nailed it all right we got two more left here so um pink lemon shortbread i ordered another one of these i actually have one halfway burned I'm getting ready to um, review for you guys. And I will tell you my experience from when I first smelled it on camera to when I burned it halfway down completely changed. Um, actually, tell you something, I bought another one, right? So it's I like a lemon bar. Still is kind of like a lemon bar. Pink lemon, vanilla shortbread, sugar citron, and buttercream swirl. So it's like a lemon bar. I'm going to be reviewing this for you rather soon because I said, like, I burned burned one uh, halfway. And last but not least, the triumphant return in four-wick form of Seabreeze. <laughs> Seabreeze, one of the original ones from 2018. Um, came out once again in three-wick form a few years ago. And I believe it's out in Alta in three-wick form right now. Um, but Seabreeze... Now, I've burned this before. It is a nice salty air, sea air, floral, tropical floral there. It's a great scent. I ordered two of these. I have another one over there. Um, tropical jasmine, Italian bergamot, lemon zest, crispy watery green, crisp watery greens, and wild orchid. orchid. Um, I will have to... I didn't get a chance to look at mine to see if the notes have changed. But I will tell you, 
it's really light on cold extremely light on cold so so much so that i can't really smell much of anything so i'm not even going to be fair and try to say what it smells like my scent memory is not that great i guess it's just a, a, a salty air uh floral but it's rather light i'm gonna have to burn this and see make it come alive right that's the name of the museum come alive so those are the candles I have for you guys. Like I said, that's accumulation of like three or four orders plus what homework sent me. Um, so discount code is in the description below. It's Philly Candleman. 10% off any purchase, $60 or more on homeworks dot, dot shop. Okay. Um, so let me know if you guys got any of these things, what your thoughts are on the new candles in particular. Um, let me know what your feelings are on them and how they've been burning, all that kind of fun stuff. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see y'all real soon. Stay safe out there.